That has nothing to do with what we're going to talk about. I just felt like doing that. Maybe I've had too much coffee. That could be the case. What we're going to talk about tonight is a 1951 Mercury Custom. Like, voila! by Von, Von Dutch. Von, blah, 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 blah. Von Dutch, you're going to see that when I take you around. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And this guy was really a pioneer for his time in regards to radical paint schemes and pinstripes. Pretty cool. Now, most of you probably know or are familiar with the fact that the 49 to 51 Mercury's were purchased and then immediately beloved pieces for modification. They wanted to buy them and chop them up and make them badass like this. So this is great. This is one of the better examples. That's this one myself. And also, this car became very popular when James Dean drove a 1949 Mercury Custom in Rebel Without a Cause. Yeah. Epic movie. So we are going to take a nice little spin around the car. I'm gonna take my sweet time because there are details on this thing that are just like, they're beautiful. It is a beautiful car. So I'm gonna take my time. I usually I just spin you around a car and I don't care if you get dizzy or what the hell happens. This I'm actually going to be considerate about. All right, let's do it. <laughs>
There is not one ounce of question that that is one of the more magical paint schemes I have ever seen on a car. Yeah, it's magical. I'd like to give you a moment to sit back and reflect on what you just saw, but I'm not gonna. We're gonna go straight to the engine, okay? What is in here? We have a 350 cubic inch displacement, small block Chevy V8. Also, you're gonna see within here some 1950s Cadillac uh, inlet cleaners that have a little bit of a Larry Watson immortalization of two very famous and too soon deceased celebrities. So you will see that in just a second. This car is also power steering, automatic transmission, modern power assisted uh, dual circuit brakes. So all the comforts that you and I have gotten used to over the years in a car that's actually badass. What a change, yeah, like that. All right, let's go ahead and look at it. And then I'll show you some interior and exterior design features that we may have uh, missed on our little ride. Oh, whoa, 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 there we are. In the place to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just made myself a little bit dizzy there. Woo! Okay, we have some awesome 1950s Cadillac sombrero style wheel covers. I'm kind of an expert at sombreros, so I can tell you these look just like them. Also, we have some period spotlights, which are awesome. Just a, you know, PSA for anybody that has spotlights on their brand new custom uh, 51. Well, brand new to them, should I say. 51 Mercury Custom. You need to be particular about where these are before you open up the hood. I've never made that mistake, but it's because somebody else told me about it too. And I'm very careful about not ruining any cars or making any scratches. Oh, God, boy. Okay, let's take a little peek at this fantastic and extremely custom interior. Here we go. Pop that out. All right, so I'm going to turn it around and then we'll see some more. bring one. So, see you later. Bye. Yeah, yeah.